this is a registration and a login page designed using the bootstrap library and a bit of custom css so in this particular video this is what we are going to learn how to design okay we're going to learn how to implement the registration page as well as the login page before i go ahead and demonstrate how to go about this if you are new to this channel i'm so so happy to have you can you go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bells so anytime that a new content is uploaded you'll be notified as such if you're already a subscriber to welcome back let's get to learn something new having that said i'm just going to open my id and then i'll just make sure i get rid of this project folder here so that we can start from the scratch okay so go to the file open folder i'll go to my desktop i have this folder created reg log and scope page like that so this is the folder that was seated on the desktop with a subfolder called images so when you open this folder i actually have um let me get rid of this file here i have this image called logo.png so that is basically what is seated inside the images folder now let me just create one index file so index.html all right now having created that file we are going to go to bootstrap's website okay so open a new tab and say get bootstrap.com so that is what you are supposed to point in in the address bar get bootstrap.com and you'll be brought to the home page of bootstrap you just have to click on docs to be here so i'll navigate a bit to the down path where it has been written to include bootstrap css and js okay so i'll just hit on this icon here copy to clipboard and it is saying that i've copied it now let me just go back into the id and then paste whatever that was copied exactly okay so let me just say i want to change this one to responsive bootstrap registration and login page okay so that is the title of our website or our web page that we are creating right now okay now i want to get rid of this hello world tag here and then inside the body tag the opening body tag i'll say class i want to pull a class called bg light on the entire body so that we have a different background feel so i'll go ahead and open this page inside the web browser with a live server okay so as you can see the background is not really white and it's not too dark as well so this kind of um, a grayish like feel okay okay so this is okay with me now haven't done that we need a class of container so a div with a class of container okay now i'll say that it should be a container and then i want a shadow to be on it so shadow small sm means small so shadow small and then i also want it to occupy eight columns on a large screen now say positions on this container i want it to be absolute should translate into the middle the stats i want it to be 50 and then the top i want it to be 50 as well so basically what's let me implement one more tag so call rounded i want it to be four so that the edges will be rounded to four pixels like that so what this classes are going to do is that it to make sure it to center the entire container in the middle of the page all right so having done that inside of this we need a con um, a class with i mean a div with a class of row so div class of row 
and I'll say that justify content center align items align items center and then I'll say okay inside the row we need a column so I'll say dev class of core lg8 I want the padding to be 5 and then the width I want it to be 50 okay so inside this column I want an h1 tag so I'll say that welcome back welcome back now before then let me just say that everything that is inside of this particular column I want it to be centered okay I want it to be centered okay all right so beneath this h1 tag I want another div code class okay I don't need a class on this one okay let me see I want it to be having a margin on the button to be 3 so margin on both the top and button to be 3 and I will insert an image tag and I'll point to the source of the image so go into the root folder look for images folder and then look for this particular one for me so let me save this let's go back to the page and see what we are having so far so as you can see there are some changes going on but this image is too huge so let's say that we want a bootstrap class of img fluid to be on it and this will tell it to be responsive okay so as you can see it is kind of responding to what the current screen size okay so this is too big still so i'll say that the width i want it to be 25 and this is okay by me all right now this h1 tag let me also say that i should have a class of both margin and top this will be three margin on the top and button i want it to be three like that okay now beneath this one say that i want another day with a class of margin button three and then inside of that tag i'll say that i need an input tag of the type email the class on it i want it to be a form control i don't want any shadow on it so i'll say shadow none and then i want it to be rounded pale this will cause it to cause the edges to be rounded and then i want the padding inside of it to be three okay so let me go ahead and see what it is giving me as the output exactly okay this is what we are having okay now the placeholder for this particular input i want it to be email email so let's save it and see what it is giving us exactly okay now let me just go ahead and duplicate this one few times and i'll change this one to password and the type here to also password okay all right okay now i need two buttons so i'll say just go we need this and say dev class of margin button 3 inside of it i need a button okay and this button should have a class of btn btn primary i don't want any shadow on it so i'll say shadow none i want the width to be 100 so for now let me just say that pattern to be 3 and then I'll say sign in as a text to be displayed on it. So let me see what it is giving me. Okay. So that is it. So we will say that the width should be 100. And let's see what's... Okay, exactly. Now it should also be rounded. Okay, so rounded pill. Okay, so exactly what we wanted. Okay. Now let me just go ahead and say that I want another button here to be 
say connect with Facebook and then I'll say that it should be BTN outline dark okay let me save it and go back and see what it is giving me exactly okay so one more thing one more thing so a dev with a class of my see I'll say I need a paragraph and I'll say that okay new user then we say register register here so the here will be a link so i'll say anchor tag and i'll say go into the root folder look for registration dot html and then i'll say here like that let me save it and let's see what we are having so far exactly so this is what we are achieving so i expect that whenever we click on this it should take us to the registration page okay all right now this button here as shown in the first demo you can see that um it is having this kind of color okay so we are going to um, see how best we can so let me just sample it anyway so i'll say that uh, inspect choose this eyedropper and i'll copy this color code okay let's go back and say that we are going to create one file called app.css you can say style.css whichever way you think uh, you are cool with that is fine so i'll say btn custom and i'll say i want the background to be having this color here i'll say important so that it override the bootstrap default color and then i'll say that the color i want it to be um white so ff so that one too should be important i don't want any butter around this particular button so let me just go ahead and call this class on this button here so btn primary i'll say so btn custom btn custom let me see what it is giving me btn custom okay so i've not linked the css so i need to link it at the top here so i'll say link css now say app.css let me go ahead and see exactly so you can see the changes is ongoing like that now the background shade is still not so um dim let me say let me see what I can do about it. Hmm. So the body BG light. So let me see. I'll copy this class. Go here and say that background color. Just take this shade here. But then let me just deepen it a little. To see. I'll say important on this one. Okay. Then I'll say that I want my container should have a class of BG white. So BG white. That way it will stand out. Okay, exactly. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, so let's just go ahead and implement the registration page we are practically done with the um the login page okay so we expect that when a user clicks on the register here it should take him or her to the registration page so i'm just going to create one more file called registration dot html now go here and then just copy this entire code and then paste it now make sure that i'll change this one to already already registered and maybe login here so login here so I'll change this one instead to index 
dot html so like that and i'll say that okay connect is facebook that is okay and then i'll say that sign up instead of signing and i'll duplicate this particular session here and i'll say that that one to represent confirm password so confirm password so let's see let's just click on this one and we are brought here like that so as you can see we are on the registration page yeah so we are practically through with the session let me just change this title to suit what we are having here so okay which is just the same thing but let me say that i want it to be i want it to be your data is safe let's go ahead and see the changes exactly so yes this is practically how to go about it we started off by designing the i mean the login page and then we implemented some few html elements and some bootstrap classes and then we looked at um, how do you call it the registration page as well now let me just go back and check one more thing let's say that we want this one to you see how it is looking on a mobile phone it is not good at all so we want it to be responsive right so let me just go ahead i'll let it be like so and then i'll go back into my css and i'll say that at media screen and i'll say that open bracket i'll say max weight max weight 996 pixels so anytime that the screen size is less than 996 take this settings for me so i'll say i'll call where i said that the weight should be 50 and I'll say that minimum weight, I want it to be, the main weight, I want it to be 100 viewport weight. I'll say important on this one. Let's go back and see what we are having. Exactly. So as you can see, it has changed to look so nice and okay like that. Okay, so this is practically how to um, go about it. Okay. I believe you have learned a lot and you will like the video as well kindly go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you've not done that yet leave your comments in the comment section and also make sure that you like the video that way youtube will recommend it for other people to also benefit if you like my content please please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video Make sure you turn on your notification bells so that anytime I drop a new content, you will be notified. Once again, leave whatever comments you want in the comment section and I will make sure that I will attend to it or I will attend to them. So that will be it for this session. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another one. Bye.